Fellas, not all Smash characters are created equal. I feel like I don't need to tell you that. You know about tier lists, right? This is true even for commentary. One of the most asked questions I get all the time is, do you have a favorite character to commentate? Is there somebody, when they step up to the stage, you squeal with joy and delight? And that's why, today, I'm gonna make a tier list of all the characters that I like casting, as well as the ones that I really don't care to. Uh, if you play one of the characters that I don't like to cast, please take it personally. Consider changing your main. Um, I, I You might be killing the health and the viewership of the game. Okay, uh, first up is watch at any cost. And then bottom is, well, no, you. this isn't bottom, but this is like to the side stream. <laughs> you're going, you, you bet, you're not on the mainstream. Not while I'm there. You go, you go on BTS Smash 2. We'll poison another caster for the chance. And I'm not saying I've done that. I'm just saying that I would. I did, did, I've never actually done that myself, but I can understand why somebody would do it. Okay, I need one for each. DK, Link is okay, champ. Hell yeah is Peach. Samus is fine, I guess. Use my commentary clout to DQ. Uh, and that's, that's the one. Don't harass the players of these characters. <laughs> most of them. Don't harass most of them. Listen, I'm not your dad. <laughs> if you feel like doing a little harassing, who, I'm not, how am I gonna know? You know, I can't stop you. Did someone say prizes? This video is sponsored by Hero Wars. That's right, fellas. The mobile sensation Hero Wars has a brand new event just in time for Halloween, and I need your help. They've added a portal to the game that opens on October 31st, and if we can get 10,000 installs before that date, we all get prizes! The more installs we get before Halloween, the more prizes we all get. These are cool prizes, stuff like Amazon digital gift cards. All you have to do is download the game either through this QR code or the link at the bottom, do the tutorial really quick, sign up for an account, and that's it. You're entered to win the prizes, and the more people that enter, the more people that do it, the bigger the prizes get. Wow, prizes! Remember Remember, the game is free, so there's no purchase necessary, and the winners will be announced on their official website, HeroWarsPortal.com. But Cody, I keep hearing you talk about this. What is Hero Wars? Well, I'll tell you. Hero Wars is a mobile role-playing online fantasy game where you can fight enemies, play PvP, collect heroes, and even play while AFK. Over 100 million players have enjoyed this game. And now it's your turn. Check out Hero Wars by clicking the link in the description or scanning my QR code before October 31st and enter for your chance to win some cool prizes. Let's open this portal together. I'll see you on the other side. I guess we talk about these guys first. Donkey Kong, I will do anything in my power to be on the mic when he's up. I, I I love this guy. And I think most people feel the same way. Even bad Donkey Kong is so funny. Donkey Kong gets comboed to hell, which means you get to see the other guy do cool stuff. It rules. He's the best. Peach, I'm super excited for because she's very rare, and I think she takes a lot more uh, skill. The fact that she struggles to kill because... All of her damage moves are also kill moves. She's a neat design. I think she's sick. Link uh, is fine. <laughs> Link be doing the neutral air. Uh, and, and bombs, I guess, he doesn't really, like... I remember when this game came out, everybody was like, Oh my god, Link is so cool. How interesting. All the stuff you could do with bomb. Look at this bomb drop. And then they never did anything else. The most excited I get for Link is when he charges arrow. Because I'm like, oh damn, if that hits... I hope the other guy air dodges. I hope he air dodge. Oh, he air dodged. Samus, there's no excuse for. Her. Uh, Samus, uh, she's not that rare. She's pretty common. They all do the same things. And then there's always the issue, like if you have the the Samus that will hold on to charge shot only when it 100% absolutely hits. May take a fucking risk, you know. Zelda is banished to the side stream because I can't. She's a low tier who's bad and also does it. She's so one note. She is such. She's a set play character, but she's a bad one. Oh my god, Cody doesn't understand Zelda intricacies. Yeah, well you should show me. Make it further in a tournament. I don't do top 64. I'm doing top eights. Where are you, huh? I've been in every top eight for a year. Where where have you been? I've been waiting for you. And I I swear to God I hate Rosalina so much. This is my least favorite character to cast. I love the buzz to death, but good God I hate this character. She's so boring. I feel like Rosalina is like highbrow comedy. 
Like, I see the buzz do something cool, and I'm like, oh, wow, that was really smart. I'm not laughing. I'm not like, oh, my God, that was so cool. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. It's like watching Frasier. Like, oh, hmm, yes. Witty. All right, uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way right away because I think this is what a lot of people have been talking about. I love Kazuya. I don't think I would ever cause bodily harm to cast Kazuya, but I love to do it. The fact that he plays a one-player game is so exciting to me, truly. And people are like, oh my god, it's so frustrating to fight. True, maybe you should commentate. <laughs> maybe get off the sticks, pick up a headset. And and while we're at it, bro, T, T's got a winning lineup. T's got a winning lineup. And I know this is just me because I love this character a lot myself. In fact, hold on. <laughs> I hate to do it, but let's go ahead and... Uh, Shut up. It's my list there. I think Pac-Man goes there. And also Snake. I love Snake. Snake rules, dude. Snake is so interesting. He's just bouncing around the whole time. He's got grenades out. The C4 is a constant threat. You're wondering how they're going to work that back into the gameplay. Most people like Snake. Uh-uh. I don't think so. I think Snake is hated. And actually, you want to keep going? I got another one for you. Boom. I'm an Olimar fan. Bro's juggling colors. He's got to manage his lineup. You got to look at it. You have an, an element of expression in Olimar 2 that I think people don't recognize and respect. Shuton, uh, the Buzz, Myron, they all play completely different. I could tell them apart if I watched all three of them. And it's not because they all play different colors, but that would help. Kony loves bright colors and explosions all over the screen. You would think that, but while you talk about bright colors, not a Shulk guy. Not a Shulk fan. He's okay. I get, actually, I kind of... No, he's lower. I, I don't like Shulk at all. You don't. You never see him. Even if I did, I don't like him. Would this commentating tier list be any different than a viewing tier list? Yes. Yep. Yeah, because you also have to think about the things you have to talk about. What am I going to talk about on Zelda? Oh, he, uh, the Phantom's out, and it missed. All right. And now we're jumping over, and we've grabbed him. Back throw off stage. Running to the other side of the stage, and the Phantom is up, and it missed. Uh, I don't want to watch Little Mac. I think a lot of people might be surprised by this. Oh my god, he's the underdog. Isn't it so hype when he wins? Not really. I don't think so. I'm not... I feel like Little Mac is like... When I watch him win, I'm like, he shouldn't get away with this. Little Mac winning shouldn't be happening on my screen. Actually, while we're here, this motherfucker. These two should theoretically never win a game. If these two win, it is because the other player was a better person. Like a nice person. If these two win, it's because the other player didn't just camp the top platform. My dock go hard? Oh, speaking of, get that dock on my fucking screen, bro. There are none of them. But theoretically, allegedly, I would kill somebody to watch him. Allegedly. In a game. In Minecraft. Banjo is okay, champ. And I think this is just Banjo fan copium. I just, I think he's funny to watch. And when he does up B, I get to go, whee! <laughs> but it does make me kind of sad because I think of all the things we could have had, you know? If Sakurai didn't hate the West. <laughs> I think a lot of people would think that casters want to cast low tiers. Like K. Rule, right? Everybody's like, oh, you want to see him do well. Kind of, but not... I don't think he's up here. K. Rule's a high OK champ. When I watch K. Rule win, there are elements of Little Mac and Luigi where in the back of my head, I'm like, he should not be winning this. He should not be doing the things that he's doing. Uh, Falcon... I hate to do it. Fun until the bracket run starts getting deep. And then it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Falcon is fun to watch in like top 32 because he's like beating people and you're like, damn, that's sick. So cool. And then like fatality fights like Meister and it's like, okay, I don't want to fucking watch this anymore. It's not fun. I watch fatality fight Meister and it's just, it's 10 minutes of, oh, 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 <laughs> oh. Dude, you're fucking dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's my list. I like Inkling. Shut up. That character's cool as hell. In fact, I think Inkling's cool, period. I don't even think it's just me. It's just you? Okay, well, they're going at the top then. Inkling is cool without roller. We have a chatter that has escaped from the year 2018. Are you serious? That's unbelievable. Roller? In 2022? You can't react to Roller on Wi-Fi. We're not talking about... You think I cast Wi-Fi events? That was a very dark period in my life. You know what? You would think that Incineroar goes here, and he does. 
and he does. I wasn't sure for a second, but he's pretty fun. The potential for Incineroar to do wacky, crazy things is so high, it's worth him being up there. Jigglypuff is hell yeah, particularly on Smashville, because Jigglypuff will pop the fuck off. And also, I like Jigglypuff because you also get to talk about how shitty she is and how she can't win, and then she does. A good Lucario is hell yeah. There's one. <laughs> but that good Lucario keeps that fucking... That energy is up the whole set. Diddy Kong is okay, champ. There are only so many times I can watch a Diddy get a 0 to 60 combo before I'm like, that's not especially hard, is it? <laughs> Every, you can't do it this consistently, right? He, you're just swinging your legs. And also, whenever I watch a Diddy, I feel like they are cool to the point where they start losing, and then the camping starts. And if they don't start camping, they lose, like Aaron. Aaron will get stubborn and keep fighting and lose. Tweak will get stubborn and camp and lose. <laughs> Krom is hell yeah. Love Krom. But you know what's weird? Roy is not. Roy is high okay champ. I think Krom is cooler. And I don't think it's a rarity thing. I think it's just Krom has more to risk. Anything can ha happen at any point in a Krom match on both sides. This is gonna sound weird. I think Game & Watch is okay champ. Which is weird because I don't like Bayonetta and I feel like they do the same kind of thing. Um, I, I, think, I think it's time to reconcile something. Cool, but I have trauma. I think that's where Bayonetta goes. I can't look at her objectively. Like, I feel like if you come into Ultimate looking at Bayonetta, like, you're like, oh, dude, look at that. It's so, look at the combos all the way to the top of the screen. That might kill. Oh my God, it didn't kill. I can't believe it. When I watch that, I'm just aware the whole time. Oh my God, another witch twist. <laughs> um, Bowser is fine. People think Bowser is hype. I... Uh, Bowser is immoral. Yeah, when I watch Bowser play, I'm like, this feels dumb. It's just stubborn. He's just a big asshole. <laughs> Whenever I watch him super armor through a jab, I'm like, you didn't fucking earn that. The guy just didn't turn his brain on yet. When I see Bowser's win a 2 out of 3, I'm like, if it was 3 out of 5, though. <laughs> Lucina is also hell yeah. Not because she's interesting, but she's so different by being so basic. And, and I've said this, like, on, I've said this a bunch. This game has so many different flavors and seasonings and different uh, tastes and, and gimmicks. And Lucina is just ginger. She's like, a, she's like a palate cleanser. It's just, it's refreshing. Becomes cool in top 16. <laughs> this is like the opposite of Falcon. They're, they're, they're polar opposites. Min Min gets cool in top 16, and I'm not kidding. I think Min Min gets cool in top once they go far. Because then it becomes a challenge on both ends. It's a straight up matchup check. And it's like, do you know this? And how well do you know it? Because I've seen Min Min's get run the fuck over. Because they know how to fight Min Min better than the Min Min knows how to fight it. It just becomes a straight up matchup check. And Min Min is so fun to watch because of that. Dude, the Proto Bantam matches where he was Min Min were some of my favorite matches. Uh, Meta Knight is hell yeah. He would be lower if he was more common. In fact, hold, I hate, I had, I, I have to, I have to do it. It's important to be descriptive in a tier list. And that's Meta Knight and Krom. <laughs> Krom goes there too. Lucario too? Nope. I could cast a whole bracket of Lucarios. I don't give a shit. That character's fun. Uh, Pikachu is hi okay champ pikachu just isn't that dynamic and then there's always that point in the pikachu game where you get the opponent at 130 or 140 and you, what the fuck do you do <laughs> all right we're killing with up throw cool uh hero is not as high as you would think i feel like whenever i see a hero make it this far in bracket i'm like uh oh now he's knocked out <laughs> i feel like i only watch him get it's either early pools and it's not fun or it's Hero is now fighting a good player. Uh, exists only in round one pools. So we're jobbing the top player. That's it. Might be cool outside of that, but it never happens. Kirby, I don't want to watch. Well, I don't know. Kirby adds an interesting tension because Kirby is just getting super camped out. Kirby is like a cool Luigi. The Luigi will always do the same thing every single time. The Kirby will do the same thing, but that'll get you to 40, and then they have to do new shit. They have to get creative. 
Honestly, dude, Pyramithra, I would like... I, I, It's never going to happen because they're too good. I want them on the side stream. I don't like watching Pyramithra. I think... It, I don't know if it's because they're oversaturated. I don't know if it's because they're so loud and yell all their moves. I don't know if it's because they're kind of basic in their gameplay. Lucina is cool because she's basic. That's not the same. Pyramithra are basic, but have the affectation of a cool character. Lucina is basic and has no qualms about it. This is Lucina. This is such an old reference. This is Lucina. She's a plain Jane with beauty underneath. Pyramithra are this bitch. <laughs> That's Pyramithra. There's no substance there. These are two very different movies <laughs> in very different decades. So you agree, you think you're high tier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ganon is cool in top 16. If he exists in top 16. Actually, wait a minute. Ganon is... Yeah, Ganon is in the hero tier. <laughs> Where it's like, if they did exist outside of round warp pools or just losing to a good player that they ran into, it'd be fine. But Pichu doesn't exist. I don't know when the last time I've done a Pichu set is. I don't want to watch Robin. In fact, I would DQ you, I think. I think I would DQ you for using Robin. That's not interesting. Robin is hype as hell. Okay, Robin player. <laughs> did you notice how I used the arc fire to combo into another arc fire? And then I did the forward air? And then I threw the book? And then I used the book? And I Z-dropped the book into a back air? Shut the fuck up! I hope you lose to a wolf. Who, by the way, put that motherfucker at the top. Wolf goes fucking crazy. He does get a significant buff at higher levels. Once you get into top 16, Wolf goes fucking crazy. Wolf is the same as Pithra. Mods! Get him the fuck out of here. Oh, I know. I haven't talked about this dude yet. Steve's cool. What do you want me to say? Steve's cool as hell. <laughs> Mods ban Cody? Steve is cool, dude. Now, I will say, uh, it can be annoying as a caster to watch Minecart Anvil, Minecart Anvil, Minecart Anvil. I watched Nicola do that. However, I don't have to deal with it. It's fun to watch. I love it. Joker... Joker's low okay champ. You want to kill with Arsene, I get it. It's Arsene economy, how much can you talk about it? Leo's Joker is cool, but otherwise, yeah, I... I but, like, you can't... I, I don't... You can't put them up for one character, right? It's the same with Fox here. Uh, Sonic sucks. I don't think that's very controversial. Did you expect me to be a contrarian? I'm not. Sonic is not fun to watch, really. Now, Sonic does take ability to pilot at top level. I just wish I didn't have to see it. I wish when Sonic came on stream, we could all, like, take a break. Sora, uh, the same. Actually, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we already have a tier for him. Look at that. We already have a tier. We Fit Trainer is fine. I used to think We Fit Trainer was cool, but even the cool We Fit Trainers don't be doing stuff. I think it's just because they're so rare, they have an element of mystique, and people think that they're more interesting, but they're not. Uh, Young Link is cool at top 16. That's it, though. I don't want to watch a Young Link before top 16, because Young Links will either totally fuck their opponent and just run them over, or do the opposite and just die. <laughs> Mega Man is hell yeah. Love a good Mega Man. Love some Mega Man play. And it might be because he's rare. Actually, it might be here. Mega Man might go here. Because I feel like if I saw a lot of Mega Man, I would get annoyed. I think I would be annoyed by Mega Man if I watched a lot of it. But I think that because he's rare, I like him. I'm not a Sheik fan, actually. I can appreciate good Sheik play, but I don't really... It's not that interesting. Play Zero Suit? Okay. How do you feel about Sheik now? <laughs> After the $5? You know, I were I was going to put her a little bit lower, but I'll put her at the top of OK Champ. Thanks for the 5 bucks, Sheik fan. Hey, any Zero Suit fans, huh? Anybody like Zero Suit? Hmm? Anybody? Oh, no, she's moving down. Oh, no! Someone help! Help her, someone! <laughs> I don't think Zero Suit... I think Zero Suit used to be really cool, but now when I watch Mars play, he's he just turns into a fucking Zerbot a lot of the time. That said, he when he's playing hot, she's very fun to watch, I think. Stop. Stop. What? Stop. Well, well, well. Stop. 
Zero suit lane. Yeah, for future Ness reference, is great. I like Moth. Don't you agree? Got it. Yeah, you know what? Now that you said that, I do think that's true. I think I think that she's going to be just using Zare against all the relevant matchups. Meanwhile, Ness, Ness kind of goes a little crazy, especially in top 16. Because when Ness gets to that top level, the fact that he's able to do those magnet combos and like sort of stall himself on falling, that's kind of hot. For future reference, I like Marth. Sorry. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. I can't, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> I think Terry's really cool, but I feel like I only see... Uh, no, he's cool. He's cool. Actually, no. Terry's lame, but he gets cool in top 16. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He's cool in top 16. Because earlier than top 16, Terry has a large player base of people who just aren't fun to watch. Um, but interesting, good Terry play, I think is really fun to watch. Uh, Byleth is the same, obviously. And I know Falco goes there. God damn, this is... Falco at top level is so fun to watch. Falco is always like, no, 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 heavens no. When Falco starts doing those fucking dare resets on platforms, oh, that's cool. I love that. Corrin's fine. Like, Corrin is so bland in a way that, like, is... W like, Lucina is bland, but she's art. The way that she moves is just... Elegance, right? Corrin is the fa fairest character in the game besides Pit. No, you've been brainwashed. Have you seen the up air? Character's fucking goofy. I do like me brawler a lot. I love me brawler. But if he was more common, I would not. Wait a minute. If if me brawler was all over the place, I would not like him. Ice climber is cool in top 16. Dude, I've cast a bunch of ice climbers more than you would think. And so many ice climbers will just do side B. Squaw Hammer can get you to like 3 2 in a bracket alone. But if you watch a good Ices, oh baby, that's crazy. The Pokemon are individual. Squirtle is lame but goes crazy in top 16. Ivysaur is fine. Charizard is. Charizard is just a flare blitz spot. I feel like I only see Charizard here. <laughs> Strangely enough, if I see Charizard come out, I'm like, oh, he lost. I feel like it's not common for Charizard to be out for, for a length of time. Sometimes Charizards will come out to fish for bear or, like, God forbid, a flare blitz. But, like, that's not going to hit, right? It's like a surrender. It's kind of long. It's kind of long, but you know how it is. This is just kind of people know what they're getting into when they click on one of these. If somebody doesn't know the Coney tier list experience, then they're about to learn. And it's their problem now. <laughs> hey, what do you think about it? You want to send me some money? <laughs> Did I rate your your character too low? Don't worry, you can stop by the stream, drop some donations or maybe some gift subs, and maybe I'll move them a little bit higher. Uh, Robin players, please don't show up in my stream. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Say bye. Don't say these. Be polite. Stop saying these. Bye. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye.